seem to have developed a bit of a thing for lamps. These are some lamps I rescued from the side of the road and they are looking a bit worse for wear. I really like the uh, style though and the, the light actually still works. I don't have any light bulbs in there right now but they still work. So I'm going to take them apart, give them a bit of a refresh and see what happens. See if anyone on Facebook Marketplace wants to buy them. And then I'm going to have a good long think about my lamp fetish because it seems to be, seems to be a thing. Anyway, let's get cracking. This whole thing turned into a bit of a saga, a bit of a battle, hence Steph versus Lamp, round one. Okay, so here's what we're starting with. These are some timber arms held together by some metal wing nuts, and they're pretty easy to take apart. And I really thought that this project was gonna be a super quick sort of fixer-upper job that I could knock over in an evening, but let me tell you now, it was certainly not the case. Life got in the way a bit, so it was actually more than a month between me taking these apart and actually picking them back up again to get started on this project. I guess that happens sometimes. I just want to let you know that whenever you guys are seeing these videos, please know that so much more time goes into them than actually comes across in the video. Anyway, I finally got to sanding them and it turns out that the timber was super damaged. I didn't really realize when I picked this up, but they were must have had water damage or something or been left in a cupboard somewhere because I think some of them were a bit moldy, they were a bit discolored and they definitely had been neglected. I spent quite a while sanding, but in the end, the wood was just not coming up the way that I was hoping. I wanted to try and keep it light and then just put a seal over the top just to keep the timber color. So that I had to change my mind about how I was going to actually deal with the discolored timber. The other issue that I had is that my super aggressive sanding meant that I damaged the cord wrapping around the actual black cable. So I ended up just spending some time snipping that whole thing off and just going for a plain black cable. And then it was on to the lampshades. And I gotta say, this is where the true battle started. Originally, I wanted to create some sort of thing like these trendy sort of yarn wrapped lampshades that I saw on Pinterest. And I saw a Sorry Girls video as well that they kind of transformed these old lampshades. And I really wanted to do that for this project. And that was part of the reason that I picked these lamps up in the first place. But one of them was really, really crushed. So I decided to take it apart and see if I could dissect it and uh, if I could reuse the actual wireframe part to build a new lampshade. But the issue that these lampshades have is that they don't have the vertical pieces that join the two ends together, which is what you need if you're going to be redoing a lampshade because without the vertical bits, the frame doesn't hold itself together. These ones had this like ugly kind of plasticky stuff on the inside, which clearly is more liable to getting crushed and breaking. That's exactly what happened to these lamps in the state that I picked them up. Nevertheless, I persevered and I attempted to make a lampshade out of some paper. I made a template and I dug through my stash to see if there was some fabric and I found some fabric that was gonna work. But I'm just gonna save you guys the uh, pain and stress that I had, that I went through. And eventually I just gave up on the lampshades because it just, it just really was not gonna work at all. So, 
different day, moving right along. I went to Bunnings to find some stain. I got picked up the darkest stain I could find. I decided that I was gonna go for kind of like a Japanese sort of inspired dark timber stain to go with and then hopefully find some lighter lampshades. But I just decided to completely ignore the lampshades. And I went home and I had a great afternoon just painting on the stain and watching the footy. I hadn't actually really thought about staining ever, anything ever before. Usually I'm more of a paint gal, but I think I must have watched a uh, Hannah Lee Duggan video or something because she is always staining everything, which I realize is actually a very satisfying thing to do. And what happened was that the timber ended up looking really good and it covered all of that discoloration and it made the kind of dodgy timber. It was pretty cheap timber, I think, and it just, gave it a sense of cohesion, which it didn't have before because there were just all these different shades going on. And even after one coat, things were already looking way, 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 way better. I was very pleased with myself. And I did a second coat out on the balcony along with the mosquitoes, which is not cool. And then I also found a much better way to remove the wrap around the cord albeit a more dangerous way, and yes, I did cut myself, and no, I don't think I got it on camera. For all you people that want to see me bleed, that's a bit messed up. And then when I finally put them all together, I realized that one of them had, uh, <laughs> one of the light bulbs had actually broken off in the socket. So I got my pliers out and I removed that very carefully, and I eventually did test both of the lamps and they did both work. And then the saga continues to just battle. It it just continues. The, the battle was real. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let Pa Steph take it over and show you the rest of what happened. I just got home from work and now I'm going out to Bunnings because I wanna see if I can find some sort of lampshades for these lamps because I still haven't managed to find anything um, I'm really hoping I can find something because I really want to finish these lamps so I can actually make this video and finish it for you guys. Also, I bought the cheapest phone thingy for the car that I could find, which isn't ideal because it actually doesn't go sideways. I didn't realize that when I bought it. So you guys will just have to cope with me um, being in portrait mode. Sorry, not sorry. You'll manage, I'm sure. Got quite a bit of evening DIY. Almost hit a trolley. Not cool. I don't know what I'm gonna use. Let's see what I can find. Well, this has been completely fruitless. None of these are decent options. I can't even find the right light bulbs and I'm losing all hope. You know what? It's entirely infuriating. The invention of cool white light bulbs. Like, nobody needs that. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty annoyed. I'm also starving, so that probably isn't helping my mental state right now, but I just spent like half an hour in Bunnings doing laps of the fucking lampshade aisle. There are no lampshades that I can find. <sighs> I'm so frustrated. And then the kind of light bulbs I needed, they were only available in the cheap option in cool white. Like nobody needs a cool white light bulb. Why was that even invented? It's just an awful, awful fucking Thing. I hate cool lights. Let's just make everything warm, please. It's just so much nicer for everyone. <sighs> okay, I really need some dinner. That's what I need. I need 
also not be behind this moron. <sighs>100% genuine reaction too. I am I haven't I haven't I haven't tried this yet. You just watched me screw that on. It looks so good. Well, now I have a dilemma on my hands. Am I going to shall I stay or should I go? Should these new lamps, these lamps that have been given a new life, should they stay or should they go? Maybe I'm going to do a poll. You guys can choose if they should stay or they should go. I'm angry. I'm I'm actually angry about how good these look. I thought they were going to be terrible and that I just like could wouldn't wait to get rid of them, but obviously that's not the case. Anyway, finished lamp. I'm so happy, but I'm also angry at how good they look. Would you buy these lamps? How much would you pay for these lamps? Tell me. 